That's right, Brad. I saw some of those drawings. It's going to be pretty impressive. It's true, Zach. I didn't know Hawkeye football could be any better, but the renovations, I think, will do it. There you go. Iowa football is now 4-2 and two on their season, and Katie Sexro has more on what might help them get back on track next Saturday. Last weekend, we saw a glimpse of the Iowa football team that we saw all season last year. And that might be because they're finally starting to have a little fun out on the field. That's what we really tried to focus on in practice this last week, just having energy and getting back to, you know, really the reason why you play the game. It's, it's to have fun, um, enjoy yourself out there with your teammates. And we were able to do that and carry it over into the game. And I think that helped us a lot. You know, we're just out there having fun. You know, we put that emphasis on it too this week, just go out there having fun, just being live and having a lot of energy biggest thing was just as a team we had a lot more energy and guys are having a lot more fun out there. I think some guys let loose um, you know stop they stopped worrying about you know trying to mess up um, they just started uh, you know worrying about doing their job um, and being on their toes instead of being on their heels so I think you know we're all coming along here um, and just trying to get better every week. It starts in practice uh, with the preparation uh, you got to have fun when you practice and as you practice it carries on into the game so I mean like I said we had a a great week of practice last week and you know we're just going to try to keep that rolling this week and get ready for Saturday. We've done a good job so far this week um, just flying around uh, enjoying each other out there um, you know because we're really blessed to be able to play this game there will be a lot of people out there that would love to be in our shoes so uh, just take advantage of that and uh, just have fun with it. Now hopefully this fun mentality can carry over into their game against Purdue this coming weekend. Reporting outside the practice facility, this is Katie Sextro for Daily Iowan TV Sports. Well, another Hawkeye athlete that always seems to be having fun out there on the court is Peter Jock. Jock's about to start his senior season and will do so with a new title. The West Des Moines native was just announced a member of the Big Ten preseason All-Big Ten team. He's one of just 10 men's basketball players selected to the 2016 preseason All-Big Ten team as selected by the media voting panel. Jack was the second team all-conference honoree a season ago. The Iowa volleyball team is definitely feeling good about themselves after setting their win streak in the Big Ten to four games this past weekend. But there are no days off in the grueling Big Ten. Colin Murphy has more. The Iowa volleyball team's confidence is sky high after taking a weekend series against Purdue and Indiana. They are on a four-game win streak in the Big Ten and are playing extremely well. But that does not mean their preparation for the upcoming weekend series will take a hit. We never prepare differently. It really doesn't matter, you know, how many we won or lost or whatever. It's the, a lot of the same training, preparation, drill work. Um, the only thing that changes is who we prepare for. And so different teams will call for different types of training or different styles of focus. But um, back to business as usual for us. Really excited. Obviously, we played Maryland before, but we know it takes a lot to beat a team twice in the Big Ten. So we know that we're going to have to prepare for that. And Obviously, we want to get Ohio State, too, and we know that's a team we can get. So we're really excited and just ready to do some work this weekend. We just beat number 17 Purdue, which has definitely helped our confidence. But I think it also, we need to maintain and keep like working hard every single day. We can't become overconfident, but it definitely makes us feel better going into every single match. Coach Shemansky believes it will be a very special weekend for Big Ten Volleyball as they take on Maryland right before the Maryland basketball team hosts their Midnight Madness, and then they travel to nationally ranked Ohio State. Reporting from Carver Hawkeye Arena, this has been Colin Murphy, Daily Iowa TV Sports. Well, Zach, what an incredible weekend for the Hawks, definitely. Man, it really was. Coach Bob Schemansky has them going to the right way right now. Agreed. University of Iowa field hockey senior Natalie Caffone has been named Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week. The Big Ten Conference announced yesterday it marks the fourth Big Ten honoree of Caffone's career, and it also marks the fourth weekly award for the Hawkeyes this season. Cavone scored four goals and registered one assist last weekend, helping the Hawkeyes to a pair of shutout wins over Central Michigan and UC Davis. Cavone was dominant in both games, registering five points against Central Michigan and scoring two goals against UC Davis. Field hockey reporter John Leo will have more on Cavone and her Iowa career on Thursday's show. Now, golf is all about that next swing, the next chip, and the next putt. Jessica Ip has been itching at the chance to lead her team and I took a closer look at the junior's career. Jessica Imp has continued to make strides thus far for the University of Iowa golf program. Imp in her third season repping the black and gold and the Ontario Canada native has a lot to look forward to. Coach Megan Menzel saw this potential in Imp from day one. She was a player that had a ton of potential. So um, she was a little bit of a late, you know, late bloomer, but has tons of length off the tee, you know, just a very natural ball striker. And so um, it's very exciting. We knew that we were getting someone that, you know, the sky is kind of the limit for yeah. her. 
We you know, definitely expect her to be at the top of our lineup, and um, she's proven several times that she can compete with the best players in the country. So we know that we have a very strong player in her and look for good things every single week out. All that hard work paid dividends for Ip as she earned herself a spot on the Big Ten preseason honor list. She also led her team in the Red Raider Invitational earlier this spring. Right off the fall, that first tournament, I definitely didn't have any expectations, and I think that was a really good I think that was probably a key to success. You know, I think she just continues to evolve as a player, and I think um, she had a, a good summer, you know, challenged herself competitively, and she's been kind of preparing for this year, and I think, you know, it just continues to get better and better. Imp doesn't pay attention to the others out there on the course, and she'd rather worry about her own game. i thinking about how or where I want to end up, because I have no idea how other people are going to play, but just knowing that if I just play my best, it could be pretty good and then just knowing that all the practice I've put in is good enough. Zach Mackey for Daily Iowa TV Sports. The women's golf team is off to the Greenville Regional Preview in North Carolina next week. That's all from us. Bradley, back to you.